So here's the deal, everybody. We have something to show you about the current status of Dan Tech. So I'm going to run over and play that for you now. Tragic stuff. Later, noob. What are you doing here? No, no, no! no! bit.ly slash extra life underscore Gia. Running today. Hey everybody. Dan Tack has been murdered. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to break it to you. We don't know exactly who killed Dan Tack, but I have a feeling that if we raise enough money, Elise, I think we'll reveal this killer. Yeah. There are clues in these videos. So if you pay attention, you might find out the secret killer. Uh, so without further ado, here is clue number one to hashtag GI murder mystery. Daniel Tack of Minneapolis has passed away after a mysterious, but probably embarrassing incident. Tack was known for his rumple blue blazers, appetite for traditional full English breakfasts, and inexplicable passion for getting snooty and pretentious about Pokemon Go. He worked at Game Informer, where he used his hot hashtag content to cultivate a strong online presence. Unfortunately, he was unable to parlay that social media popularity to meaningful work relationships, and he was considered to be quite the office weirdo. Tensions were particularly high in the office in the weeks preceding Tack's mysterious death, but it's probably a coincidence and you shouldn't waste your time thinking about it too much. Editor Joe Juba recently had a tense run-in with Tack, where a heated argument peaked with Tack saying, Columbo's a no-go bad show. This newspaper doesn't normally report on rumors and speculation, but we also heard that Dan Tack spat on Kyle Hilliard's car and daughter. Editor-in-chief Andy McNamara also recently attempted to compliment Tack on his jacket, but Tack shut him down with the simple, I know I look good. Elise Favis, Serial Vasquez, and J.V. Gwaltney went out for drinks with Tack, and Tack was said to have mumbled, those aren't even human names, before skipping out on the tab. Senior editor Matthew Cotto said he didn't have time for any of this nonsense. Dan Tack's family requests that friends and acquaintances pour out a bottle of dank memes and eat a cheese tray featuring the finest cuts of choice meats and a variety of flavorful soft cheeses that bring out the subtle notes in a great wine pairing. All right, coming up now, we have the next clue, so enjoy. going to roll out a new clue because we passed $15,000. Every $5,000 we reveal a new clue as to who the potential murderer could be. Uh, so we have a new one coming up that should offer a lot of insight. Yeah, Wade. Uh, it wasn't the most convenient time in the world, but like, I don't know, like flying out here to wrap up Dark Souls and, and Bloodborne DLC with TAC. It seems like I'm really pumped now I'm sitting in this chair and we're going to play together. Uh, Tim, sorry, I got to stop you right there. Uh, I know how much the community was looking forward to this. I was really looking forward to it. But I guess Dantec is not coming. Uh, what? He just texted me saying that the Mario Party esports are on and he can't miss it. So I don't know what the hell he's thinking. He's not coming? Yeah. So I flew out here from San Francisco. 
I mean, the prices were better than usual, but it's still money that I spent for this. What the hell is he doing? Also, if I may interject, Dan Tack was a total dick to me about Metroid Prime Federation Force. F Dan Tack. All right, um, Reeves, I think we're ready to show, uh, show some murder mystery stuff. We're, all right, we're going to cut over, show the clue. Is that what we're doing? Yep, we're doing that right now. All right, get ready. Hey everyone, Hi, I guess uh, I guess you guys are watching Game Informer's 2016 Extra Live Stream. Uh, I don't know if you all remember me, but my name is Dan Reichard. I'm a uh, celebrated author, but I actually started at Game Informer magazine alongside uh, Ben Hansen and those other yahoos there. So I hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, but I heard I heard something terrible's happened. I heard there's a spooky murder mystery afoot in the Game Informer office. So I want to I want to pass along a little clue to you folks watching the stream. So get out your notepads. I murdered Dan Tack. I went back to Minneapolis recently and I wanted to go back to the office at Game Informer just to see my old stomping grounds for a while. While I was there over the weekend, I thought I had the place to myself, but then I heard Dan Tack whistling and, to be honest, I panicked. I pulled out my 9mm handgun and I shot Dan Tack twice in the abdomen. He fell against the wall, uh, he, he kind of slid down leaving a bloody streak, and uh, I felt pretty bad about it and I, I panicked again, uh, but before I could finish him off, he gave me some great tips for Junkenstein's Revenge, the current seasonal content on Overwatch. With that knowledge in mind, I took the knife, the butcher knife that I had on my person, and I slowly slid it across Dan Tack's throat, bleeding him out. I murdered Dan Tack. Thanks for watching Game Informer's Extra Life 2016 livestream. Try to solve the mystery. Man, we got a real head scratcher on our hands, don't we? I don't know. Hopefully that clue helps you out, because I don't know. This is this is the final clue. There we All go. Right, here we go. All right, let's see if this helps us out. All right, let's do this. Hey, Dan, you there? Want to play some Overwatch with me? Dan, it's Zach, your Extra Life team champion, your favorite Overwatch member. You there, Tech? Dan? I'm not playing as a Reaper. Die! 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 Who could have this is it. This is the reveal oh, man. of who killed Dan Tack. So, did you kill Dan Tack for giving Bioshock Infinite an 8.5? Did I what? Legendary creator of Bioshock, Ken Levine! I killed Dan Tack for saying Bioshock. <laughs> Come on. What is this game? It's uh, Bioshock Infinite. Oh! Um, I know a lot of people. Going after Joe's 10. Really critically, you know, it's in there in the 9.5s, 10s, but, you know, I see yeah. it more of around an 8 or yeah, an 8.5. Yeah, no, five. fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, you know, it didn't really do anything cool. Do just, anything it cool? It, it was just it's a series really, of cool it was things. Like it was just all right. It was just all right. It like, was just all right. You know, he's entitled to his opinion. I'm not going to like. I'm not gonna go around and, you know, kill every game reviewer who is, you know, got a stupid opinion about a video game that's, you know, clearly a masterpiece, giving it an 8.5. I don't think that Dan Tack, you know, I have never met the guy. Like, I don't I'm not gonna kill him because he gave it a, 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 bad, a bad score. Of course I didn't kill Dan Tack, it's absurd. Cross your legs, cross your ankles, cross your ankles. And now, the resurrection of Dan Tech! Here we go! Ah, oh, I can't believe I'm in heaven. I finally got away from those casual gamers. Wait, wait, no. No, I don't want to go back. I just got here. No! I see light ahead. Ah, ah. Oh, hey, everybody. And it's great to be back here at Extra Life. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm back. Uh, no thanks to the staff here who called me back when I was enjoying heaven. Those dirty casual gamers are everywhere, I swear to God. All right, yeah. Yeah, Extra Life rules. Dan Tech's alive, everybody. Dan Tech's alive.